Hello everyone, today I'm going to show how to fix a hacked Microsoft Office 365 user account in 10 steps. So a hacker or a spammer can gain access for a user account and then they can do malicious and harmful things and that could be very costly for the organization. So, so if you have a knowledge that the user account has been might be hacked or compromised, you can follow these 10 steps to ensure the safety of that account. So uh, the first thing to do is to reset the account password. So you log on to your admin portal, you click the reset button and then reset the account. So that's the first thing you need to do when you suspect that an account could be compromised. So the first one is done. now second thing is to sign out all sessions so to do that you need to go to your admin center click on identity so it will redirect you to entra.microsoft.com so then you click on users all users select your uh, suspicious user and then you revoke session so this will revoke all session for the users uh, requiring the user to resign in from all devices so uh, the second thing to do is to revoke all the session for that user okay so the second step is done now third thing is remove the account from all admin roles so please review that the account that we are talking about if it is under any sort of admin roles or not it could be like a, this user could have been an admin role uh, this thing can happen uh, to uh, not just users would be uh, affected by the admins so please check that if that user has any admin role or not if the user have any admin role then remove uh, this user from any sort of admin roles so third step is done the next thing fourth step is re-enroll or enforce MFA so if the user have MFA already have MFA please uh, uh, pre-enable it reinforce it and if it's not under the MFA then must enable the MFA so in my case the user don't have the MFA so you must enable the multi-factor authentication and you must enforce it so enforce the multi-factor authentication and if the user already have enforced the multi-factor authentication then click on manage user settings and tick mark all the three things and then click on save that will re-enable the uh, users multi-factor authentication okay so the fourth step is done now come to fifth step check for enterprise apps authorization for the users so to check that we need to go to identity I mean the entra.microsoft.com then click on users search for the user and then click on application for the for that user and to see if we have any uh, unwanted uh, application that was uh, enrolled or not so let's say I want to uh, you find a, a list that uh, there are apps that uh, the users has been uh, you know uh, giving uh, permission default access so you can remove this so that's where any uh, application that have the access uh, for this user account this could be uh, revoked so fifth step is done 
now sixth step is scan devices for malware so uh, this part you have to do uh, from within your pc that the user using uh, if your uh, user is using a corporate pc or corporate uh, you know computer then you need to check for the computer is it, if it has a, a malware or the viruses or not uh, you, you if you have a you know uh, uh, antivirus program uh, you can uh, run the antivirus program and check that your device is compromised or not because uh, from the devices and user uh, 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 user can could be compromised that their, their uh, password could be compromised from the devices uh, so if you are using the Intune or any uh, MDM policy then you need to check uh, from your MDM policy that it is working or not, it is uh, working fine or not. So uh, you need to scan the devices for the malware uh, so that uh, you can make sure that uh, the user uh, in the future they cannot compromise uh, their uh, accounts or uh, their password from their PC. So these have to do uh, from, from the user end, user devices. So the sixth step is done. Now seventh step is uh, review mailbox rules and forwarding. So this you have to do from the user uh, machine, user PC. So to do that, you need to log in to your user account and then click on uh, settings and uh, check for the rules that if any rules is there or not because uh, when an user account is compromised uh, the spammer or hacker most definitely they just create a new rule they said that uh, if the mail came from a particular account it could be uh, you know uh, redirect to another uh, you know folder or another account or could be they make a new rules that uh, this message will be deleted so uh, it is also you know harmful that you might not you the user might you know miss the important uh, messages that they uh, would get so check the rules in here also check the forwarding so most of the time uh, the spammer they enable uh, forwarding they gain access to the user account they enable forwarding and they forward it to uh, an external addresses so uh, when the mail came and it forwarded to uh, another address so this thing you need to check that if the user is forwarding and the rules is uh, okay or not so it's the seventh step it's done now eighth step is review audit logs for any other unusual activity so these things you have to do from your security portal admin security portal security and compliance okay then go to the audit and then you search you uh, take on a time range if suspect that this could be you know happening from this month so what kind of activity you are uh, looking for you give it a name so perform an email search and you select the user select the user in here and then you need to uh, create a search in here then give your search a name uh, and then click on search so uh, this will take some time to you know uh, search the email you can check the active search in here and you will uh, get the log you see uh, here already it's queued it started so once it's complete you can uh, check uh, the uh, login here and to find out if it, this if there's any unusual activity from the user end okay. so the review log and as uh, the step 8 is done now step 9 is to review email apps and change availability to uh, do that you need to log on to your active uh, admin portal click on the users now click on email and 
click on manage email apps so you check that uh, this thing uh, this uh, is uh, outlook on the web or uh, up to desktop exchange online mobile mappy pop it is uh, enabled or not so this way you can you know uh, identify that uh, which uh, you know uh, way that uh, the hacker could uh, get access and uh, our suggestion is if the account is you know compromised uh, any other way then you need to untick all just tick on outlook on the web so the user for the temporary basis let's say for uh, one or two days he just use his uh, you know outlook email only from the web so that this could uh, mitigate uh, the issues and you can identify i mean uh, you can uh, uh, summarize this issue you can you know take control of this that uh, the user is only using the web so you don't need to think about his uh, devices uh, from where he actually uh, log in so for the temporary basis uh, it could be a good measure uh, from your side to prevent the spammer or hacker to get access so the step 9 is done now the last step is review sign in logs and checks for additional security measures you can take so this one is a uh, very important and uh, although it's the last step but it is very important to you know uh, find out that uh, users uh, sign in log where the users actually got sign in to, to do that you need to go to your entra enter account click on users all users select the users and then you click on sign in logs so this log will uh, review or show you from where in the last 24 hours or in last seven days uh, where the user is trying to get access so from in my case the user is a very inactive user so no logs found and also check in the non-interactive part so both user sign in interactive and user sign in non-interactive you check you check if it is from the legitimate address or not so this is very important as you can see that it shows success success and it will uh, give you the IP addresses from where they try to get access so uh, in my another video uh, you can see the sign in log the sign in log steps in you click on the sign in interval it will show you from where uh, the user tried to sign in let's say we check for another user if, uh, if it shows or not for the sign in log okay so most likely uh, it is a very not uh, active account so let's say for the admin account it could just have some logs in here yes let me see uh, this account uh, where you know uh, it's tried to uh, get access and also show the IP addresses in the location so if you find some unusual location or unusual IP address then you can uh, you know uh, certainly know that uh, from where uh, the spammer or hacker try to gain the access and also it will show you the authentication method in my case it is a single factor authentication which is not acceptable you must enable MFA to prevent this sort of uh, incident so these are the 10 steps so step number 10 is done so if you follow these 10 steps then uh, you can uh, you know certainly fix your uh, uh, office 25 account which has been hacked or you know uh, get uh, you know uh, from, from the taken from the spammer so by this way uh, to follow this 10 step you can easily uh, mitigate this issue and, and in future uh, this uh, your account will be more secure so uh, thank you for watching